While the Prime Minister was away in New York this week, it was up to a Conservative MP in the House of Commons to deal with questions about Canada's mission in Iraq. And today, Paul Calandra broke down as he apologized for how he handled it. Let's bring in our chief political correspondent, Tom Clark. Tom, take it away. Well, Robin, let's go back to, if you want, the scene of the crime. I take you to Tuesday of this week. Question period in the House of Commons. Tom Mulcair, leader of the NDP, is questioning Paul Calandra, who's the parliamentary secretary to the prime minister, about some very important matters about war. Take a listen to what happened. Will the Conservative government confirm that the 30-day Canadian commitment in Iraq will indeed end on October 4th. There's a great deal of confusion with respect to the NDP position on Israel. We are in the Middle East and we are under the eyes, but we're talking about Iraq. And our friends in Israel are on the front lines. The Israeli Defense Forces, Israel is on the front lines. Canada will continue to support our friends in Israel. A forces agreement with Iraq. Friends in Israel are on the front lines front combating line. terrorism in the region. Well, the following day on Wednesday, Paul Calandra was walking around Parliament Hill boasting about how well he had done in question period. By today, well, take a look. Mr. Speaker, I would like to uh, unconditionally, unreservedly apologize to this House for... for uh, ...my behavior the other day. Clearly, um, I allowed the passion and the anger, um, of which something I read to get in the way of appropriately answering a question to the leader of the opposition. For that, I apologize. Well, Robin, it's not every day that you see somebody crying in the House of Commons over the way they answered or didn't answer a question, but I suspect Paul Calandra is mourning the death of his political career. Perhaps that's where the tears came from. He said in the statement, though, Robin, that this was all his own doing. He came up with these crazy answers all by himself. But in reality, there is a culture of partisanship that exists in the PMO that is getting stronger every single day. And it is entirely possible that the people who are responsible for that culture were the people who, in essence, put him up to it and also forced him to back down. Why could that happen? Because after this week, I suspect even the conservative base was embarrassed at how their government was handling an essential issue of war and peace. And perhaps by today, the government has figured it out that if you are going to go into a combat role in the Middle East, it might be a good idea to get Canadians with you as opposed to poking them in the eye. Robin? All right. Thanks very much, Tom.